What's going on guys? Today we have a very special guest in office and that is Mr. Taylor Atwood, AKA the back-to-back -back IPF world champion in the 74 kilogram weight class and the current open 74 kilogram squat world record holder with the massive 283 kilogram squat. Now, what are we gonna be doing in office? We're breaking down the squat. Taylor's gonna be taking us through a squat tutorial and now without further ado, let's kick it to Taylor. So the first step that I like to go through is hand placement. Now this will vary for everyone else, but personally I like to go pinky to the ring. And then what the first cue I'm thinking of as well is packing my lats. Now what I mean by packing lats is having tension. And once I have that tension, I now know that the bar placement is gonna be perfect and I'm gonna be set up for a good squat. The second step I like to think of is bar placement on your back. Now there's two setups that you can do low bar and high bar, not going to get into the nuances of both, but personally for powerlifting, I like to go low bar. Now, once I do that, I kind of make sure that when I'm under and I place the bar where it needs to be placed, it's over my midfoot. Now, what that helps with is making sure that I have a strong tension and a strong base. So the next two steps, I'm actually gonna combine. So step three and four, the first thing I like to think of is the walkout. Now, the walkout is, you can, it's very personalized, and personally, I like to go three steps, and what that helps me with is expending less energy. That's what you wanna do on the walkout. So, if you wanna do two steps or three, depends on you. The fourth step is breath. You wanna make sure that you're taking a good breath because you wanna have a good base and you wanna have tension throughout the body. So the fifth step, and I believe this is one of the most important steps, so pay attention. Make sure that you have full body tension. And what that means is you wanna make sure that you just have a very good base before you descend. And some of the things that I like to think of as full body tension is one, packing my lats. Two, making sure that I have intra-abdominal pressure. Three, I wanna make sure that my glutes are contracted. Four, I wanna make sure my feet are essentially grabbing the ground. And five, making sure that all of those steps are in sync. So the sixth step I wanna take you through is the descent. Now I just took you through step five, which is tension. And what you wanna do on the descent is keep that tension. And what that's gonna help with is when you're in that hole, you wanna get out as fast as possible, but you also wanna have that tension to help be powerful. So step seven is the ascent. This is obviously one of the most important. The three things I like to think of is one, mindset. Now, I wanna make sure that I'm exploding as fast as I can out of the hole. The second step is tension. Now that I'm thinking about exploding, I still wanna maintain posture and tension is gonna help you do that. Three is midfoot. This is the most important, I think, in my opinion, and a lot of people don't think of, is maintaining strength through your midfoot. That's gonna help you with tension and posture. So now that we've wrapped up pretty much everything that you need for the squat, these are three extra tips for you. The first is making sure that when you're under the bar and you're taking your breath before the descent, you, want, you don't wanna move your upper body too much. You just wanna make sure you're getting a good belly breath, which is your intra-abdominal pressure, and making sure you're keeping that tension. The second tip is making sure that the bar is over your midfoot. I hit on that earlier, but I wanna make, that's a paramount step before you even take the bar out of the rack, is making sure that it's over your midfoot so that you have a stable base and you're not wavering when you're taking the bar out, because that's wasted energy. The third and final tip, don't overthink, don't overcomplicate. That wraps up our squat tutorial with Mr. Taylor Atwood. A big thank you for coming into the Barbend office. Now, this is the second time we filmed with Taylor. We actually filmed the bench press tutorial before. We're gonna link that up in the card section. Now, if you wanna see more of Taylor and follow his lifts and more of his day-to-day, -day, catch him on Instagram at T underscore Atwood.